So I'm finally getting around to some of the requests I've had, and one of them was for uh, making the saddle cuts on the angled pieces of the corral shade. This is a 50 foot wide, just short 300 foot long corral shade, about 16 feet in the air. So it's, uh, it was important that we had some integrity for winds that would come through there. Uh, at that span, it's basically just a gigantic wing and we wanted to make sure it stayed in place uh, had a little bit of flexibility to it but uh, for the most part we wanted it to uh, make sure that all the welds were getting the penetration they needed to stay in place and do what they're supposed to do so uh, through the use of some ABS pipe uh, made a template uh, so that each piece would be exactly the same as the last and uh, cut down on prep time considerably. When you have to cut a piece and go back and forth to measure and fit and measure and fit, it can get very time consuming. But through the use of ABS pipe, um, it's very lightweight, so you can put it up where you need it, make your adjustments, um, and uh, here you can see that I uh, some blue painter's tape to mix some markings and I'm just using a grinder to uh, start cutting away and, and nibbling away until I get the fit that I want. And then from there we go over to the welding cart and start uh, cutting sections of pipe. So there's an old saying of uh, measure twice, cut once. Well when it comes to marking your pipe using the template you want to mark twice and cut once. Uh, you wouldn't think that the pipe would slide around inside that uh, other plastic pipe but it does so you want to make sure that you get your marked and uh, markings good the same you go back and forth once or twice and that's what I'm doing. So also what you don't see in the video is uh, in this video I take the template off but actually on the second ones I left the pipe on there and just slid it out and I used the template to hold the pipe for me while I cut and then it made it easy just to rotate the pipe as I was cutting it with the torch. And you can see how nice it makes. A, all you got to do is follow your template and uh, you're good to go. So after you get your pipes all cut up the way you like, take them up get them a test fit, make sure they fit the way you want them to. Um, and then after that, uh, you're ready to do some welding. And uh, just like you usually do, you just want to tack it up top and bottom so it doesn't move around on you. And then you're ready to lay some rod down. Um, the one thing I can say is any chance you get to train somebody else in your skill to help them better themselves and the, in this case welding. Now they're already familiar with it, but uh, I had two welder helpers, Chad and Hamilton, and these guys were awesome. Uh, they already knew how to weld, and it was just a matter of teaching them a little bit more and really helped the project move along much faster. Um, got some good quality work out of them. So the first pass on the weld was uh, at a mild heat just to fill in the crevice, uh, that small gap that was between the two. Um, that way on a second pass when you crank up the heat um, you already have some metal down there and it's not going to blow it out the back but you're still getting good penetration and then the third and final pass across the top uh, fill everything in and uh, you know when it gets nice penetration for strong integrity weld but most importantly you got to make it look pretty so there you have it by using the ASB plastic pipe uh, to make your template on odd angles uh, it can help cut down on your workload. And as the typical day started in the dark, it usually ended in the dark, but uh, wouldn't have it any other way on this job. Thanks for watching and I hope it helps.